Dog is really uh, trying to solidify. He already certified and documented um, as being one of the most recognizable faces on the planet. Oh my god! Not man. just in hip hop. Like I just saw him faces. in. A, I saw him in the Skims. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kim Kardashian Skims uh, did a whole Ad, thing yeah. with his family. I think he's trying to like 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 Elvis Presley it or something. What I mean by that is like he's a musician. I mean he he does music, but he's into acting real heavy now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he, I right definitely now, know what you mean. Q 40. was the same way. You know, I used Q to be an actor one time. Yeah. He's right over you each other. Been, Q I've already a been an too. A-list actor. He's oh, been yeah. in it. Big Boys hey, Neighborhood. Boy. Beautiful day in the neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. So beautiful. I would have to say, man, it is beautiful to have collectively Mount Westmore in the neighborhood, man. Yeah. Too short. Ice Cube. Fody Water. Hey. Snoop somewhere shooting something. I don't Aww. know where dog is at, but fellas, <laughs> welcome to the neighborhood, man. Thank you. Thank, hey, you. Hey. Thank you, fam. And when we you see all three, welcome, we're welcome missing back. Snoopy. Right, right. When you see all three, <laughs> we missing Snoopy. Snoopy. Easy call. <laughs> hey, man. And first off, I got to say, man, I've had a chance in certain areas to listen to the entire album because it felt like something at first where I was like, man, when you heard Mount Westmore, it sounded like such a great idea. But you know, sometimes you think like, man, is this really going to happen? You know what I'm saying? And then I started hearing songs here and there, you know, like going to the studio with Dog and him pressing play. And now when we fast forward, the album is done. Mm -hmm. How long had Mount Westmore, even before the name, how long had it been in your head that y'all would put this group together? It wasn't in our head. Really? We just, we, it just happened natural like an Afro. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, um, so during the pandemic, yes, sir. Um, our, my 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 manager RJ was just chopping game, and he was and we, he was like, "What you doing? What you doing? What, you know what you doing?" So anyway, I say, "Man, just here, just keep going back and forth to the refrigerator during the pandemic." You know, we back and forth to the refrigerator, and the refrigerator telling me, "Man, would you back up off me?" Yes, sir. You know, <laughs> in my bar, the bar and the refrigerator had arguments with me. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So anyway, to make a long story short, and a short story long, he was like, "Man." <laughs> He was okay. like, man, you might as well just go on and call us uh, Snoop Cube and I and, and, and Short and um and, and put a group together. I said, that's a hell of an idea. I didn't even waste no time. I just I called I called I called Cube first because you gotta understand, Cube is Cube. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You gotta accept him for what he is. And he's, he's very, stu- very, <laughs> very stubborn. I yeah. sound, like a, <laughs> sound like a fucked up uncle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uncle's just on. Yeah. I didn't mean, he like just got to accept him. Yeah. He family. Yeah. Yeah. Kim, let's do a group. Fuck you. You writing diss songs against the group? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I hit Cube. I hit Cube. And uh, he picked up. You know, we did the wellness check. How you doing? What you up to in this pandemic, this crazy ass world right now? We're just chopping up. Then I said, hey, man, what you, uh, what you think about? Let's do a group, man. Me, you. Snoop and Short. And, and he was like, you know, maybe about, I say about, I don't know, maybe about three, four seconds later, he was just like, hell yeah. Mm, that's right? how I talk. Yeah. Uh, at that time. Well, and, it, and that's during the I'm, pandemic, I'm being, too. I'm being sarcastic, you and, know. And, and we all had different voices during the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, we all had different voices. voices. Yeah, man. So, <laughs> let, so let, him, let him write his story. Through the mask. All right. Through the mask. Through the mask. So Go ahead. So, 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 I say, so I say, well, what are we going to call it? And he was like. Mount Westmore. And I was like, okay, that's, that sound like Damn. one. That sound like one. I say, let's call Short. Me and Cube call Short. Short was like, yeah, man, let's go, man. You know, you yeah, know, you man. know Short talk hella fast, but he raps slow. <laughs> right. You feel me? Yeah, yeah man, let's go, man. <laughs> right? Yeah, man. It was, it was a quick call. <laughs> yeah, it was quick. And so he agreed. Then all of us called Snoopy Dog. And we was like, Snoopy Dog, uh, what you think about this group? Whoop, 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 whoop. He was like, Let's go, cuz. Mm-hmm. Let's go, cuz. And then <laughs> we just start sending music back and forth to each other. Zoom calls, FaceTime, oh, wow. all that, man. It was just the funnest thing ever. I let them take it from here. Hey, man, you, you and, and I love that you are an artist. You know I've been rocking with you for years, Fody, but you miss your calling. Your impressions are <laughs> art. Was that cool? Oh, my God, they're spot on. You know what I'm saying? They are. <laughs> They are they are spot on. But you know, and it, and it's crazy because you can go from an idea, and y'all have done many, many shows together and been rocking with each other for decades. You know what I'm saying? And to somebody else, this would probably sound like low-hanging fruit, like, man, why this didn't happen? But it, you know, it's the perfect timing. You know what I'm saying? But also we also get caught up in an idea. And sometimes we get in our own way. And every one of you gentlemen, man, everybody's career is on point. 
You know what I'm saying? There's nobody that you got to call off the bench. Everybody's in the game. So I would even think that that would have been harder. You know what I'm saying? Unless everybody understood this so-called mission that it you was easy on. and we didn't we didn't have nothing to do bro the right. whole world was shut down we all we respect each other so much yes, sir so um it was just the perfect idea the perfect time and we had fun making a record you know i always say it's like making a record with your cousins yes sir you know we we just had fun um the pressure was taken off of each of us because we had each other to rely on. Yeah. You know, I didn't, I didn't have to be the one, you know, Come thinking of everything. Verses, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, you know, relying on the wisdom of these three iconic superstars, just relying on each other's uh, knowledge on how to make a hit record. And uh, so it was fun. So, the, the you know, the part that really – you know, took the most work was just putting the business together. Right. Like, like, you know, putting the LLC together. You know, we we are Mount Westmore a company. So, you know, just making sure we had that in line was the hardest part. Everything else been easy. Uh except, you know, trying to get, you know, Fody and and Snoop in the same place at the same time. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like <laughs> like you know, you know, that that's been the hardest part. You know what I'm saying? But but for the for the most part we've been having fun and and just enjoying working with each other. Hey uh, man, and I say this all the time for it and I got this from you, man. When you say veteran and relevant at the same time, and I always give it back to the community when I say it mm -hmm. too. For you, you you told me one time you said, Man, I'm a veteran and I'm relevant at the same time. And all of you guys in this group, man, Mount Westmore, are veterans and relevant at the same time. But it's also one of them things where you see some people come together and and I know it sounds like a generic question, but short, how important do you feel like this group is with these super with these superheroes coming together? Well, with your knowledge of hip hop and where it's been and where it's going and where it's at, you got to realize that this is a hell of a contribution to the culture. Not, yeah, man. not because it's Snoop, Q, 40 and Short making records together, but because it's us making a statement that, man, success is, is, is there. There is no expiration date on, on this hip hop thing. And, and not many have ventured this far out and and you know strive for excellence at this at this point in their career so us doing this on that top level you know doing everything top notch top notch videos top notch mm -hmm. rollout you know everything the top notch production doing it that way is is it's just setting the standard for Anybody else who who wants this in the future? I mean if can it, you imagine a Mount Eastmore? Yeah. Right or right Mount yeah. Southmore, Southmore. Oh you know my god. It's like you know hopefully we we are setting a blueprint yeah. for for other icons that m might be dormant. You know, uh, they might as well not, as the young homies. You know, and an inspiration for the new generation. Yeah, mm -hmm. for for to get together. You know, what I'm saying, why not put these super groups together? You know, it's kind of like, you know, remember back in the day, it would it would be fights that you wanted to happen but never happened. Right. You know, what I'm saying, it's like why let something like that just linger when when you could put something fresh together, creative, innovative. Uh, new, um, genius, um, you know, everything you say um, that that you can do, you know, it's actually executing it. Make it happen. Don't just talk about it. Be about it. But y'all got so many plaques, accolades, e everything for decades, you know. But this feels like this is brand new as well. You know what I'm saying? And last night I'm watching, you know, the news and they keep running promos that you guys are coming in. You know what I'm saying? And then today, like, one of y'all could have showed up and it would have been like, hey, I'm here representing Mount Westmore. Mm -hmm. But y'all y'all chose to show up. This feels like like the old days. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Why is this so important? Strength in numbers. It, it, but why is it important that y'all do it like how you guys are doing it when you're already so proven? It works. Yeah. You know, and to me, um, and I'll let 40, you know, speak. Um, but but to me, it's really all about, you know, doing what we need to be doing at the time we need to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a great idea. Yeah. And why let a great idea just live in your head? Yeah, man. Or when die on can, the vine. Yeah, when you can when you can put it out there. And as serious as we take it, 
the people would take it. Mm-hmm. If we just throw it out there like it's some bullshit, like it'd oh, be man, received as we, such. Yeah, you know. So you have to show people how how passionate you are, and then and then they'll they'll jump on board and at least give it a listen. You know what I'm saying? So it's important for artists to get out in front of their projects and promote and push their projects. And it feels like the 80s or whatever because all that shit still work. Yeah. A lot of people don't use street teams. A lot of people uh, ain't really um, thinking radio is as serious as it was. Oh, we streaming. We got we got. Nah. You know, all this is still top echelon mm-hmm. music industry shit. Mm-hmm. And you got to do it. I heard that. Hey, man. Now, 40, for one, when it, when it comes to just lyrics and style and everything, man, do y'all, not competition, but do y'all go at each other where it's like, okay, well, Cube just sent me his verse. Now I know how I got to get down. Uh, we get, when we, Whenever we do it, we just play our position and do us. Mm-hmm. That's very important. But we also got to give our, you know, try to do our best too. So if if Cube sent me a verse or Snoop or Short, I got I to gotta cut up. I got to get on there and gas that thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it it, it got it to be Petro. You feel me? So, um, nah, that's what we do. It's like, I'm not going to say it's friendly competition. I just feel like this is what makes us great. Like, right, right. Because we all going to, we, we ain't going to, none of us ain't going to be, none of us going to be slacking in our macking. We're going to mm-hmm. be on the case it's like It's not a like competition, a but if you don't come with it, they're going to just, just step all over you. Like oh, you, really? You have to like, yeah. you, right. have to, you have to get on that level because the brave guy goes first. Like oh. there, there's no, there's no, um, you first, second, third, fourth. So it's just whoever the beat comes yeah. across the, the wire, whoever jumps on it first, you first, and then then from there it's like <clears throat> sliding if you want to, you know, like just go, just don't slide in. Hey, short is it is it uh, too big when you say something about uh, something? Is is it poot? No. And uh, <clears throat> what do you say on that line, <laughs> man? Uh, it's say you want to smoke with Snoop. Snoop is the rhyme part. If yeah. you meet all four, you gonna if poot. You gonna poop on yourself. Yeah. I know some of you guys have grandkids. I I, I still have a little toddler or something. Yeah. I use words like poop. <laughs> Y'all, y'all know I became a late, yeah. late, late in the game father. Yeah, yeah. yeah. congratulations uh, to you on yeah. that as you well. You have never heard me say poop five years ago. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, man, I remember one time, Shoat, you said, man, you said uh, Mount Westmore money, concert money is different. Yeah. It is. yeah. <laughs> I mean, like I, I just mumbled out strength in numbers. It's like the negotiation is different mm-hmm. when it's all four of us, you know? So you can get Snoop for a price, Q for a price, E40, myself, but when we ca- you call us... On that one line? Yeah, yeah. It's you gotta, different. It got to come right. Hey, man, I remember, dude, like, I always watch shows from the audience, right? And y'all did a show up in the, in the 909-951 area. I think, what's that? The uh, uh, Ontario. Hey, Ontario, yeah, yeah. That was the first show we did together. Hey, man, and when I saw y'all come out of the riser, mm-hmm. and then when y'all got up, and I don't know, I, just catalog. I think y'all on stage from, uh, the, the show started Friday. I think we left Tuesday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday morning, and I was still sitting here saying, oh, man, they didn't do such and such, such and such. How do y'all, because I know that there's got, got to be a tour, and we got something lovely as well that's happening like mm-hmm. on New Year's Day for our listeners. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like Raiders, 49ers game. Raiders. Dinners with members. Bang, bang, nine again. <laughs> oh. Hold on. Hold hey, man. Hold on. That, that's that's going to be funky there. Oh, my it's God. It's funky already. <laughs> you see these Raider colors today. Yeah, man. Man, I wore, I wore this. Yeah, yeah tell, that's fashion. We call, we call, he said he pulled it out the, the hamper. Right. Yeah, that ain't true. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled so it out the hamper, man. Let me wear these colors so I can fit in with the folks. We, right. call, right. we, we called him this morning and said, you don't wear silver and black. Man. Yeah, <laughs> man. Right. 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 You know Better wear it. Bang, bang, bang. Hey, so we be at it, bro. We be at, we be at each other's throat. They, try, they double team me, bro. I, I be, I'm Bolo. Snoopy, he's the stiller, so he kind of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got old folks sense, so he just kind of stay out of it. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? But us, we added like cats and dogs, bro. Add it, man. What that me? dinner gonna look like? Cause that's during the, that you go. Up, people go off for the game. You know, somebody probably may not make, make it to dinner that night. That Might night. not. You yeah, know what I mean? somebody probably may be salty. New it year, ain't gonna be New us. You, know, <laughs> you already know what it is with the bang bang nine the game. Y'all ain't winning that game though. New Year's. 49ers versus Raiders if, New if Year's Day. Raiders be, if the Raiders beat us, uh oh, let me tell you what they record if, this. But now listen, yeah. now if it was a, a bottle of uh, Earl Stevens, uh, you know what I'm saying, we'll all be out our body, right? But I'm just saying, he knows 
that that's their Super Bowl. They, uh, what? Oh, 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 oh. The Raiders. Hey, oh, that's like what people used to come to town. Home. All they wanted to do was beat the Lakers. They weren't home. worried about hey. no championship. Exactly. So look, look. I just want to tell LA I love y'all. <laughs> y'all supported me more than any place on this earth, Southern California. I don't have nothing against the Raiders. I just got something about certain fans like Ice Cube and Too Short. You understand me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. They be at me, man. And I'd be like, man, why we can't just all get along? Yeah. Right? <laughs> but they talk, big be- they, right. they talk Big Bronco. They continue to talk. They talk Big Bronco, bro. So Look who's I, doing all the talking. Right. <laughs> so we got a we got a group we got a group text going on, right? Yeah, so I love to see that. Every, this, this, this is something that happens very often, like every Sunday, right? There's a there's a, a, a gift. And I and, it, and it's a light switch. And as soon as they lose, it go like this. And I, I but but we, ain't, we ain't seen that light switch in a few weeks. But you see it often. <laughs> we see the light switch very weeks. often, right? <laughs> so so we lost one of the games, Sarah. right? He hit me with the same light switch. <laughs> hey, man, that get back is good, though. It's good. Even it's if good. it's just one and done. Like, yeah. oh, I got it. Hey, man, what's the process of when y'all put, when y'all put an album together with, with Mount Westmore? Um... Like how how do you know what makes it to to an album? I mean, sure, it explains yeah, it perfectly yeah. on how we layer it. It's, yeah, it's the beats, man. The beats come. Mm-hmm. We we all we all got connection on producers. The beats start coming. The word is out, and they're coming. So the beats get presented in a group text, and the beat pops up. Like it's not like, hey guys, check this beat out. It just no, no words. It just a beat pops with the up. light switch on. It just pops up. <laughs> right. The light switch is sports. This is, this is <laughs> so the beat pops up. You like. Listen to it. Nobody say, hey, man, I like that letter. Nobody say shit. So maybe later, it could be 2 p.m., whatever time of day, and it just pop back up. And you play it, and it's got um, a 40 verse on it. You're like, okay. And I go in my studio, and I'm like, bam, now it's got two verses. And then, you know, it just it would just, like, grow. You know, like, every every song. And it, it was going day in and day out and day. We probably had 10 songs the first week. Like you yeah. talking about four solo artists that only got to do one verse. Hey, it's man, easy. It, one verse? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> it felt like, man, did I start hearing? I know I heard stuff over a year ago, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Did I? Because it was times when I thought, and and I remember I was with Dog and he kept pressing play. And it, it felt like y'all had an album then. Was, yeah. You know, and then when I listened to what I can listen to, what's available now, I'm like, man, I didn't hear this. No. I didn't, so, well, it's 50 songs, so. We got Jesus 50 songs. Yeah, we, we recorded 50. How do 50 you songs. pick the stars out of that 50? Because are, are they're all stars. <laughs> yeah, they you know all what It's really about the, how many songs are going to go on the project. Right. You know, Earl was like, man, I don't, I don't release 27 <laughs> songs on the record. You know, I'm like, we're not yeah. going to put all of them out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, let's pick 16 or I'm still 20. listening to your quadruple album, though. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You ain't got through it yet, have you? So, uh, so it, it's really like that was the the conversations. You know what I'm saying? Like how many songs, what order, mm-hmm. which songs. Because we know we got to work hard to do a bad record. <laughs> I mean, we got to be right, yeah. trying because yeah. – it's just yeah. magical, you know. It's 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 something else that takes over a project like this, that's uh, that you can't explain. That it's just hard for us to miss. Now, you know, we got songs that's better than others, but mm-hmm. at the end of the day, we can play them all, and you'll be like, "Why that didn't go on? Why that right, didn't go right. on?" See, we start playing was stuff. You're gonna be mad go? about what didn't go on. Yeah, so, it wasn't hard to let it go. How do the y'all do that? So look, if you got you got you go. got album number two is guaranteed, right? right. So while you putting album number one together, you got to realize we got to make sure that album number two is is the same mm-hmm. level, you know. So mapping out number one at the same time, we like well, this song is probably better than half the songs on number one, but we got to put it on number two. Right, it's, right, it's, save it's, that. It's not a better intro, so we picked the best intro. Yeah. And I man, look, you got four dudes. They've been doing it like it's not and doing it well. It's like the trust factor is like way up there, and it's not really that hard when you got that much experience. It's a hundred some years of experience. Yeah, hey man, I love that you guys let each other be the same way. You know what I'm saying? The same forty we've been rocking with, the same cube, the same dog. You know, short you in there talking your shit. You know, like there is nothing that felt like goofy or like, oh man, what they doing? What they chasing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like sometimes our genre kind of kick us out 
You know what I'm saying? Like people always say, "Oh man, the Rolling Stones." He got something they go, to say they, about that. He, he got yeah. something to say. Well, you know, at the end of the day, it's not really about you know the industry is uh, out with the old and with the new. Mm-hmm. Okay, but fans aren't. Fans mm-hmm. stick with you. You know what I'm saying? If you if you make it from their ears to their heart, you in there. Real talk. All you got to do is stay consistent and give them what they expect. You know what I'm saying? When I go see the Isley Brothers. I yeah. want them sounding like the Isley Brothers. Right. When I go see yeah. Anita Baker, I want her sounding like Anita Baker. You know what I mean? Like, you know, uh, I want the OGs to sound like the OGs. Is that why it's important to, for you to sound like what you sold us? Yes. Yeah. Without a doubt. You know, um, if I can't rap it, you know what I'm saying, live, I don't do it in the studio. Hey, man, we just saw you Cube in concert, right? And I literally think, I say, man, when Cube done, I'm done. <laughs> like when when I see you on stage and something ain't right, I'm going to be like, oh, man, I'm done. Like, this is yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, and the one thing, each one of you, man, y'all have such an audience. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about to this day, as busy as y'all can be, arenas. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that right there, bro. And then when you see somebody come together and it's say, man, we already huge. But watch when we all come together. Watch what this look like. Yeah. I, I can't imagine what 2023 is going to look like. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I'm going to have to do we my We're the punk. funnest group in, in the industry right now. You yeah. know what I mean? We Without have fun, a man. We in our 50s, bro. Yes, sir. In our 50s, bro. With no regrets. Glad to make it to this age. Yeah, man. You know, a lot of people ain't making it nowhere near half this age. Especially now. Yeah, it's crazy. So we're just trying to be an inspiration to the new and old generation. But we want to show the new generation – First of all, we've been we've been in this game for over thirty five years, mm-hmm. right? So to do that and never make a diss song about Cube, short, vice versa, none of us. We just we all just happy to you know to be here and to be able to you know speak our mind and do make money off of something we love to do, which yeah, is man. rap. It's a real occupation. I try to tell these cats this occupation. Stop playing with it because you ain't never had a job. I had a job before. I, I, I Me too. You know what I'm saying? I had a paper, I had a paper route. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I, I worked at Mickey D's I used for to about park two cars. months. You know? Really? No. Did you ever still change out the? Out of the course. Car? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That was my lunch and gas money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why you can't even blame somebody when they take it from nah, you. Nah, nah. I'll be like, get yeah. all the money out of here yeah, right that, now. You're like, Everything. that's the Lord. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Forty. Do you still write the same way that I witnessed you write? Uh, you know what? I got a whole new way. Really though? I mean, it ain't new. I've been. Do- I mix it up. Sometimes I might take a paper plate and write on, you right. know, write my lyrics on it or whatever I see. But lately, I just got my little iPhone and I just say a couple of lines. And I'll be like, I'm here. I'm right here at Big Boy's neighborhood. And then I stop the iPhone. I stop the recorder. And then I say, Yes, yeah, Demi. Uh, you know, showing up and showing out as we should. And then I stop it. Then I just then next thing you know, I got I did it last night when we was in this, this studio, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gassed it. A, hey, man. Super, a super black. I remember one <laughs> time, bro, I was in the studio with you and I literally saw you lay on your stomach. Yeah, yeah. And he yeah. would lay on his stomach and write his rhymes. And yeah. that, was, that was that was the early two. That was the early really? two. Yeah, that was way back in the days. I don't do that anymore. Yeah, the uh, knees got different. Yeah, the knees yeah. getting Hell up, yeah. boy. You know, you, you get a half a hundred years old, man. You know what I'm talking about? Praise God though. <laughs> Thank God for everything. Hey man, what's the plan for 2023? We know the album is here. Do it, do we get tour support? Are y'all 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 getting out on the road? Because I know everybody's active. Yeah, you know? we ready. We, we ready to tour. Um, keep promoting the record. You know, mm-hmm. doing more visuals, um, and and just planning for the future. You know, when we put this together, <clears throat> Mount Westmore is an LLC, so it's its own company, and so we. We got to feed that beast, you know what I'm saying, and and and, and uh, throw some more logs on the fire, and uh, just keep this thing going, and get ready to drop the second one. Mm. Hey Amen. Now, with Mount Rushmore, of course, Westmore, sir. I said that, didn't I? No, I go back Rushmore. on it. I go back on it. I said what? Hey, hey you with me? What? 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 Watch this. What did I say, Jose? Uh, Westmore. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. I was mistaken. So. Yeah, no, don't worry about the cube. You know what I'm saying? It happens sometimes. I'll write you a pass. Mount Westmore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All righty. Now, we know that there's got to be four right there, right? Hold on. Uh, 40 making sure that his wine ca- is coming. Hold on. This is way way more important. Uh, I see. It's a spam calling me like a spam oh, okay. risk. 
Yeah, spam. Making sure they're members. not downstairs. Snoop, Snoop got a line where he's saying the album. He say uh, West Less. No, nah, West More. The West Less, West More. Come on. Hey man, how many songs on the album? Sixteen. Sixteen out of fifty. Mm-hmm. So, and you know that number two is coming. And when it comes to the four members, right? Mm-hmm. If Mount Westmore was five people, who would be that fifth member? A lot of people that that could that could qualify, but it's like not a long list. Mm-hmm. I I feel like y'all can jump in whenever. I feel like Warren G got the credentials. Yeah. Dr. Dre, uh, Ice T, DJ Quick, Quick, yeah. Quick got the credentials. It's not free. The, the game. Damn. The game. You know, it's not a long list. That right, you right, can right. Say who could qualify? I heard that, but y'all knew from We're not, the This ain't got nothing to do with the like the more newer rappers. Like we talking about our the foundation. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But know, then when I mean, you gotta have <coughs> gotta have years in it. We got thirty years in it, so you gotta 35, you got thirty five. Go ahead, now. <laughs> we got thirty five years in it, and and so you gotta you gotta have at least twenty five to even get in the conversation. What keeps you guys going at the momentum? That you're going, because each one of y'all could be done. You know what I'm saying? I mean, y'all can call it over. Y'all could do one of those things and say, man, I just want to go out once a year, if that. What keeps you going, 40? It's fun. It's 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 actually, mm-hmm. uh, I have a, like, being, what I did was something that a lot of people didn't do. I played drums, the snare drum, from the fourth all the way to the twelfth grade. And still was, you know, player about my about it. You know, they didn't have Pro Tools and Logic and all that back then. So we had to do everything manually. So we have a passion for what we do. When you make when you're doing something that you love and you're making money, why why not do it? Right. You know, if I was a trillionaire, I still just do it for the energizer. I heard that. Because I love it. What and about I, you? I got something to say. Short. I mean, it's kind of the same thing. It's like that passion of like getting a phone call from Cube and say, and he go, Hey, uh, on that mix last night, turn the snare up louder. You know what I'm saying? That's that's passion. When you like take mm-hmm. the time and listen and go, I don't think that snare is loud enough. Like that one thing is is important to you. So we all have that same passion of of man, my vocals ain't right or or uh, tweak my ad libs. Like everybody is like listening to the song and not just to themselves right. and not just to you know like oh it's done and walk away out the booth. Like no, we want to know. And this is definitely <clears throat> passion too. Yeah, send me back what I just recorded. Let me analyze what I did and make sure before the public hears it. It's, it's appropriate, you know? And Q, just with, with so many shows, man, and doing great shows as well and staying so active, you know, and, 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 and still having lucrative, you know, everybody here got a lucrative business mm-hmm. on the other side too, you know what I'm saying? What keeps you saying, I got to stay on, st- I, I got to stay on stage. I, I want to continue to record. What, what, what keeps you with that love and that passion to do it after decades? I mean, there's no better feeling to, you know, think of something in the back of your mind and create it and give it a physical form for other people to enjoy. So that keeps me going. The, the, being being creative and and being able to to manifest, you know, cool stuff and you know people will be able to enjoy it when I'm dead. You know, why I mean? do you do so many shows? Because I love to perform, yeah. you know. To me, that's the that's the adrenaline rush. That's the um, the best thing to do in entertainment is get on that stage. There's nothing that tops that, you know. Having a hit movie, going to the premiere, watching it, that's cool. But nothing beats getting on stage and doing those songs and getting a response from the people. You know, that's the best part of the game. I always, um, I always felt like if if you're making money doing something you love and you've been doing it for many moons, why stop? Like, mm-hmm. you know, why Till stop? The wheels fall and, off. Because you know what? This is a trip because you're not investing any money in it. You you working off your talent. Yeah, man. You working off your talent. Barbers, they working off their talent. Like, you know what I mean? I'm just looking at working off talent. You know what I mean? You're not dumping any gouda in it. So you just show up, you know, do your show 45 minutes or whatever, an hour. And and go home with the bag. Why, what's wrong with that? Ain't right. nothing wrong with that. Do it until the wheels fall off in real life. Can y'all still hear, hear the crowd? Short, can you like, do yeah. you still hear you, that? You, you have to work the crowd. It's not a, it's not a giveaway. That's Just because right. you got all these songs that they love and they're there to see you, you still have to put in this certain work to work that energy. So you can you could take a sold out house 
And the energy could stay like medium if that's what you're giving them and that's what they're giving you. But then you can make them. Either they can make you do it or you can make them do it. Or it can be a, a mutual thing. But I know how to work a crowd. Yes, sir. I, I remember being on stage without a hit record where you have to make people like you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what I always feel. It's like I got records, I got hit records, but I still got to go out there and rock that beat. I still got to rock that beat. That's it ain't it. about relying on the record. It ain't about letting the crowd yeah, send the, the record. Out. It ain't about letting the record play and you fucking you around. You gotta be in control. It's about rocking the beat, rocking the crowd, and being active and being a, a, a fucking MC. And that's what it's about. Everything else don't matter when you in that mode. And I like being in that mode. Hey Amen. And, and what y'all continue, and especially you, Q, do with your voice. Like I say, y'all sound like what y'all sold us. And mm-hmm. I remember even going to watch, watch, watch the show when y'all first came out and I said the riser and everything. It was crazy how many hits y'all went into early. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, what the? And then I'm like, oh, damn, they doing this. They doing that. You know, do y'all sit hey, back and was, watch? That was by design was to hit you guys, the audience, with like. I was like, in the audience, Like it was, We going to hit you at first with the songs that you would think, okay, that's, the, the, be- end. that's the best they got. Mm-hmm. And we hit you with like the first 30 minutes of just like hits. And you're like, wow. And then they just never stop coming. Did you like, know that Blow the Whistle was going to be another one for you? No, nah, we don't We don't work like that, man. We just You just make good music and you and you know it. Blow the Whistle gave me a feeling in the studio. I was like, oh, this one of them ones. But you don't know what they're going to do. You don't know which one of your kids is going to excel. Right, right, right. right. You know what I'm saying? You just try, you, you give them all the love. And you raise them to be good kids. Hey man, I just everybody wait on what's my favorite word. It's fun. And then the whole crowd, bitch. Like, you know. I, you know, I made a lot of songs that I think that the the little bit of humor that's in the song and the fun part to participate with, or just, you know, just the stuff to laugh at. It it makes it makes songs last longer. What's your favorite two short song, short? Probably Dauphine Beat. Hey man, I That's th- mine. I th- mine is uh I think life is. Life is yeah. and um, I like I like getting into get, yeah. Get, get well, we one, can go on and on, on and yeah. on forever. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Getting it was one of my favorite because yeah, I got to work man. with George Clinton. Hey man, what about you, Cube? Is there a favorite Ice Cube song? I don't have a favorite. They all like like Short said. They all my babies. Mm-hmm. So it's some that the fans like to hear more than others, and that's what I give them. But you know, it's songs that fans never really probably you know see in a concert that I bump all the time you know so it varies i know? love that you put the n word you gotta hate back in yeah that's like one of my favorite cube songs and <laughs> yeah. i remember one year when i first got with my wife veronica you performed at my party and that's my favorite song and i was like cube you gotta do that you know you, the have, you, you got another hate. wife yeah, no, nah, I'm talking about we weren't married like, at that time. Oh, you said my wife Veronica, like, yeah, like, yeah, three yeah. Or four no, no, we weren't, <laughs> we weren't married at the time. And that's my song. Like, and he had the this. whole crowd, and I'm standing up, like, upstairs, and, you know, I'm looking at the show, I'm watching the show. And when he goes into that, and when he got to the chorus, and he was like, everybody say, fuck you, big boy. He was like, fuck you, big boy. Say, fuck you, big boy. And I'm over there, like, yeah. My, hey, my, my wife was funny? like, you want something funny? <laughs> like, he don't, he don't like you? I'm like, no, this is homage. Like, you don't understand what's going on here. Hey, hey man. You want to hear something funny? The first shows that we did together as Mount Westmore, we didn't really like discuss, like, you know, stage etiquette. So I'm I'm sitting up there. I'm on my phone. Snoop on his microphone doing everybody's ad libs and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we had to, y'all got bench tables out there. <laughs> we really had to like check each other and go whoa 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 like like let's let's not do this and do that and it's, and it's like hard for dog. He's like man, I'm a fan. Yeah man. So I'm sitting there. I'm doing the show, but then I'm not rapping. I turn around. I'm watching them, and it's like like y'all. We got to stay conscious of like you're yeah. in the show. You're not at the show. You're in the show. It's, it's kind of. It's hard to like. It's a party on stage. Hey yeah. man, forty. Do you have a favorite E forty song out of the seventeen thousand three hundred forty five <laughs> that you recorded? I do. Must remind everyone that I have more top two hundred Billboard album entries than anyone in hip hop. Say that. You want to start so, doing no, stats? Please. Are we doing stats no, now? Say it again. Say, 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 say it, it again. He, asked, he said how many? Say songs it again. I, I do have more top two hundred Billboard album entries than anybody in hip hop. Go ahead now. So my one of my favorite songs. My, you know my favorite song that I ever did to me. Nine hundred and ninety nine hundred thousand nine hundred and ninety nine plus a dollar equals a meal ticket. Damn, 
<laughs> off the Elemental hey, Surprise man. double album. <laughs> Let me tell you what's crazy. We got to go back. Let and me tell you this. <laughs> have you done that? Lie. No, I haven't. You know I what I'm saying? To, though. I got to do it. It's what, it was one of them ones. Hey, man, mine with Cube 2 is Nappy Dugout. I never oh, probably see that live. Hey, man, and what I remember doing my homeboy. You know, I didn't have kids, of course, when Nappy Dugout came out. And then I remember my homeboy, <laughs> he had a kid, and he was like, man, that song is different now. <laughs> <laughs> and now I have a daughter. I'm like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, but but mine with you, 40, is I, I, I got a few of them, man. You know, like like... But uh, that being a player since my youth, I think I recall when I got my first tooth. I was a teal little heathen. heathen. That, that's oh my god, Perkin that's Bombay, that Bumbay juice. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. That was uh, and then a little bit further down the line, started fucking with moonshine. All kind of lines. <laughs> like, it's balling out of control. Hey man, when you say I'm on that fuck man, yeah. ballaholic right. type of vibe when he Ball get on that, that my man, on that mob shit. When that you good. was on your shit, when you say I'm not a freestyler, don't rap for free, man. It's pay, pay style, style on mine because I have money, money man. man. I was yeah. like, don't ask this dude to do your birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't freestyle. Yeah. I, me, me and Too Short, we don't freestyle. I got I got pay style from He had a yeah. song called Pay Style. <laughs> yeah. That's where I got it from. Yeah. Hey, man. And what's yours, Jose? Uh, too Short? Man. Uh, 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 creepy Tales? Uh, yeah. Freaky Tales. Freaky Tales. These yes, aren't the hey, man. Oh, that's man. another one. Come yeah, on. I love that. Hey man, just story just a about pure, my four, forty-five ex-girlfriends. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah, man, just a pure playlist, man. And I'm telling you, man, we have so much great music, concerts, moments, accolades in our rearview mirror, and there's so much more in the windshield. And I can't wait to see what we're going through in the, the front of the windshield. We got beautiful things behind us, but this next journey that y'all taking, bro, I can't wait. To see this, man. We got four flamethrowers, and we blazing a whole new trail for hip-hop. Yeah, man. And I love it, bro. And I thank y'all for collectively coming in here. You know, Dog is out of town at home at the compound. You know, for some reason, I, for some reason, I think Dog's in town. But, you know, Dog's out of town. I think Dog is really uh, trying to solidify. He already certified and documented um, as being one of the most recognizable faces on the planet. Oh my God, not man. just in hip hop. Like I just saw face. him in a, I saw him in the Skims. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Kim Kardashian Skims uh, did a whole Ad, thing yeah. with his family. I think he's trying to like, like, like Elvis Presley it or something. What I mean by that is like he's a musician. I mean he he does music, but he's into acting real heavy now. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like he, yeah, I'm looking, I definitely I'm know what at you your mean frame for in the camera. Right I definitely now. know what you mean. Cube 40. was the same way. You know, I used Cube to be an actor one time. time. He's right over each other. Cube I've done already a been an A-list actor. He's oh, been yeah. in it. Cube, uh, Snoop is. Yeah, let's get back to accolades, man. So tell me some of your accolades, man. Like, oh man, my accolades. Yeah. Oh man, come she got on. like about eight or nine platinum albums. He's oh like, my God. Right. The man looked at his yeah, watch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. he was like, how much time do you have? <laughs> All right, man, 30 minutes. All right, I'll try to make it short. Hey, man, but then also, Q, just with, <laughs> with the movies and everything as well, man, like not only do we have classic music, mm -hmm. like the music is a soundtrack of life, but you have movies, bro, that yes. people, you know what I'm saying, that we continue to go back to. We remember where we were at when we watched a certain movie. Like, there's movies of yours that can come on. I don't even have to watch it from the beginning. Yeah. If it's right there, I'll watch it like it's the first time, bro. And I even yeah. had the pleasure of doing Players Club with you. And I learned a lot from you on Players Club. And what I learned from you, you probably didn't even see. I learned how, bro, you were strictly professional. Not asshole professional, but professional. It wasn't like all the homies were there. You know what I'm saying? Like you did the gig and I, I noticed I, and I would sit there, man. I remember Master P was there and I was there and it felt like we were taking notes. Of course, Master P did a lot more better than I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You did pretty good <laughs> damn self, man. I, I ain't yeah, gonna let I, that slide. I did all right, man. You know what I'm saying? But his tax returns are totally different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm comfortable with that. But but I would, I would sit there, man, and you got to think how many people – have come through Cube's door Man. as an introduction that are now legendary themselves. And a &R if I name one, it'd department. be disrespectful because I can't name them all. That's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Uh, when I was a youngster and um, John Singleton, mm. I, he, he came to me. He said, man, I want to put you in this movie, man. You perfect for it. I'm looking around like, I don't act. What right. you talking about? And I thought I was totally unqualified. And he he helped me become qualified, mm -hmm. you know, and, and do a good job in the movie industry. So um, 
when I got on and started producing, that was uh, I was dedicated to finding people that you might not normally see, but I know you can do it. I know you're gonna be good. Right. Come here. I know. I know you could do it because I seen the other stuff you do, mm -hmm. and so. It's the school I went to. You know, I never went to film school, none of that. I went to the school of this nigga's the shit. Right, 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 yeah. Let's put him in something. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, and when we think about, I mean, and, and Cat Williams, Mike Epps, Fresh Lisa Ray. I mean, the list uh, The list goes on and on and on. Chris Tucker. You yeah, don't Bernie like, Mac, rest Ber in peace. Oh, my God, man. AJ. Hey, man, comedians come up to Cube and they say, Comedians that didn't work with him, and they say thank you for what you did for comedy. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's true. You know, to be able to make comedians laugh. You know, what I mean, to be able to make uh, some of the funniest people in the world they laugh off the movies I make. You know, that right there is, you know, bigger than any kind of award you can get. You know, what mm -hmm. I mean, to have somebody like Eddie Murphy be like, man, I, that shit was funny. You yeah, did. man. You know, um, and I think everybody has seen it. A movie. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> Everyone yeah. has seen a movie from Cube Vision or from you. And you know what I'm saying? So, man, if we were to press delete on everything that Too Short has done, Ice Cube has done, wow. E-40, if it never happened, this would be a sad industry, bro. Don't leave out Snoop Doggy Dog. And yeah. Dog. Ooh. Well, I forgot Dog because he's... He didn't, didn't show up. up. He's out of town. <laughs> <laughs> He's out of town in Inglewood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but dog too. Yeah. yeah. Real talk, man. And no disrespect to dog. But yeah, if we were to delete wow. what y'all, not just to hip hop, lifestyle, culture, language, everything, bro. Like, come on, man. Yeah. You know, being, people, being, every, being stepfathers and so, surrogate fathers and, you know, so we, you raised know, a lot of people. Yeah, you did. That lets us know how much we've, miss from people who who had the talent but right. didn't have the opportunity yeah and you know things that or the, the lifespan too yeah. yeah so things the world would never get you know um so we don't even know what we missing you know what i'm saying from the world because um you know some people just don't get that shot so we all thank count our blessings thank the lord that we was able to present our talent to the world and in a way where it could be accepted. Hey, Cube, real question, man. Yeah. Are you tired of seeing me and Jose at your shows? No. <laughs> okay, just check it. Okay, just check it. I love it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I hey, man, love it. and my dude, Jose, and I told you this before, Jose is a smooth Christian, Yeah, bro. I see. Jose is a Christian, man. I mean, he is, every meal we pray, every morning before we move, we pray. He sent me scripture. Like, Jose is a smooth Christian. Cube in concert. I know he cursing in his head. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I know he cursing in his head, bro. Natalia. Obviously, you guys have been in the game for a very long time. You've known each other for a long time. But now making this music together, did you learn anything new about one another? Um, I just learned that uh, they know how to talk big Bronco, both of these dudes, because <laughs> we always argue about sports. And that's one thing. They who ride me. They be on me. They they some bullies. They bully. Right. Man, nobody touch you. They be you. bullying me because I'm a 49er fan. You said nobody touch you. They be trying you. to put me out. Come on. I learned how to make better records, you know? Yeah. Uh, you know, just hearing um, some of the trade secrets, you know, that, that uh, I heard from 40. I heard mm -hmm. from Too Short, from Snoop. You know, it, it definitely makes me a better artist. You know, I know, you know, a few tricks I want to try when I, when I make my next record, you know, mm -hmm. so um, I appreciate that. You know, a lot of dudes are not candid about how they, you know, you know, he hasn't taught me one recipe. The goon with the spoon <laughs> right, hasn't right. taught me how to cook shit. Man, so, we, went and, we went and got so, this pressure cooker so, that he told us to get, man. I'm going to make some chillings and, for you. And, 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 chitin, I don't want that chillings. shit. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. You eat chillings and hog Bullshit. No, no, not me. Crazy but, ass but, uh, but we just, <laughs> you know, culture. that's what I learned, culture. you know, how to... You know how to do things in a different way, make things a little. Eight hey, forty. You still eat chitlins once a year? I heard that. Chitlins. That's how you supposed to eat hey, chitlins, man. right? Yeah. He hey. 
Shitlands. He gonna he gonna he gonna he gonna Paul Bear all of us. Listen, yeah. you know what I'm, I'm just I'm I'm from the octagon, the trenches, the soil. We all from the man. Don't come with all that <laughs> testimony. And, and man, never, I, it ain't I, I never it all. Left We me. had to make do. It ain't never left. We me. had to make do. Yeah. Right. That's yeah, it. Yeah, I don't want to hear that shit. Shitlands is a delicacy. Right. Say it. It's, it, it. It didn't mess around and became that. It's in. He a hater with a with a with a generator. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> don't stop up. <laughs> hey, I know a whole bunch of. Cats that rap that love chitlins right now, females and all that you know what I mean. Once a year, right. once a year. I'm not saying this is an every week thing. I never, and, had, I never had them once. On, 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 on Solano Avenue in Vallejo, when we was right down the street from, we was right there at Studio Tones and my my clothing store, uh, New Fat Clothing. Every Friday we would go down there and get chitlins. Cause that's where they sold it at. But as I got older, we figured out you can't be eating it every, right. you know. Every week, so you do it around the holidays. Yeah, I try to. It's do hard to find. Them? I ain't had none in like two, three years because it's hard to find, and it got to be. It got you got to get it from the right spot. You know what I'm saying? Moms couldn't find. Mom's the one who Man. I trust to make it because she she stripped homie, with vinegar homie. and all that and make Can it. Can we cut this part? Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, don't cut it. I don't want to talk don't about no. It. Let me finish. Shitty talking. ass shit. Hey, let me finish talking. No, like I said, <laughs> <laughs> crazy dude. Hey, Y'all man. never see Cuba. Uh, and you know what? And, 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 and we and we <laughs> I, all grown. Bring it out of you. <laughs> Shitty man. I want to hear about that man. No. <laughs> Chitlins, man. Did like, you learn anything too short? I learned the E40 like Chitlins and Cube. Don't <laughs> yeah. There it is. Hey, man, you let know what I love? Let me, let me pull with you, man. Don't, don't spill it on Cube, man. Don't, don't do it over his phone. Hey, Q, do you drink? Yeah. You know, oh, okay. That's enough. That's enough. It just ain't fucking with Anybody me. Anybody right want some? Yeah, I can say that. <laughs> so it's cool. Hey, I ain't fucking with you, I ain't fucking with you right now. Yeah, bro, this, this, this other bottle we can't talk to you anymore. He poured that shit over you, honey. Yeah, yeah. Very disrespectful. Yeah. He was clowning me when I was talking about my chillings. You know, I did get drunk oh. once. Did you really? Yeah, man. That, it was uh, empty. It was Christmas There's Eve of 1994. Don't put no ice in it. You don't want ice. Oh, oh, oh I you had a drink, so you got drunk. I got drunk. Okay, it's, it's different. Having a drink and getting drunk is two different things. I yeah, I never had a drink before. I did it all that it's one night. Okay. And man, I never do that shit again. This shit is good, though. I can imagine. It's like a, <laughs> I can imagine. Cheers, everybody. We gotta do our. Uh, we gotta do our famous cheer. This your famous cheer. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, he thought it. He thought it up. We the only one know it, and he the only one that do it. But thank you, gentlemen, <laughs> thank you. for coming into the neighborhood, man. Mount Westmore. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for showing up. Thank you for all your contributions. Thank you for always coming back, man, and and, and rocking with me as well, man. And I appreciate you guys. We love you, brother. Anytime, big before boy, you love man. you. Much love. Cube, love you. For life. Too short, life. love you. Dog, love you, man. And and thank you guys, man. Y'all stick around, big boys, neighborhood. Yeah, yeah.